I'd like to get one right here. It's probably asking a lot for the flake to go that far. Show that again? Yeah. Well, here, but uh, I'm going to hit it right here. I'd like for it to go into here, but, you know, there's a part of that crack, obviously, that original crack mm -hmm. goes in there, but we'll see what happens here. You want to clean that sand off before you strike that? Yeah. Uh, I just, the big one scares me. <laughs> I want to try it with this one. that later. I'm going to have to yeah. set that up later. Um, what I hinged. <laughs> yeah, a little bit there. Get that right there. Well, you got a good ridge now. Yeah. Almost had two of them, actually. Just want a short flake here. Okay. Now maybe we can set up a platform and get this again. There's half yeah, of it. Yeah. There's yeah, the other half. That's fine. I'm getting a little bit thin right in here, so I gotta be careful. Or I'll leave myself with a problem later on. I'll in shock it or something. Probably stop here in a minute and I'll finish it up on my leg at home or something. Got a lot of the. Well, I'm fix this down. I'd like before I quit to, to get take this that pump off right here. Yeah. That's what I'm. That's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but we'll see. I think you got it the next two hits. I'd like for the sand to be right up under there, so. platform. I got plenty of width so let's not let's not be afraid to get rid of some of this width and set up a proper platform. It's obviously going to take a pretty heavy hit to get rid of this. And that might do it right there. Isolate it a little bit. Hit it right here, might go with the big one. I'm gonna have to pile up some sand under there. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want right there. Well, this will either break it or make it. <laughs> I think that might have went. That's your crack. Oh, did you yeah, damn near it? Got a lot of it. Yeah. Well, anyway.
I'll have to. I can get that at home when I get my width yeah. brought in there. Yeah. And uh, I think I'm gonna leave it like that for now, Jerry. It's okay. pretty crude, but this is the initial thinning in the sand here. Okay. What? I'm gonna try and hit one right in here to get some more of that off of there. I guess we'll hit it with this bad boy. There we Sounded go. Sounded excellent. That's what we want right there. Cleaned up a lot of that mess and got rid of a lot of thickness here. So, yep. We got another one over in here. If I can uh, get it just right, maybe the, I'm only abrading it in the off chance that I accidentally hit near the edge there. I want to hit right about there and down. So it'll drive it off. We'll have a pretty good biface here. Okay. I think right here. Well, I can get like that. Not that part of it though. Okay. Setting in, John. yeah, it is setting in a little bit. Well, <laughs> uh, no. that's okay. Let's trim it down a little bit. And now it is to the point where I can get it at home. It's pretty, got rid of a lot of thickness. That's it. Okay. 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 We got this thing home now. And I'm going to try and get a big blade out of this thing. I'm not sure if I'll be successful or not. This is the uh, largest piece of basalt I've ever worked. Uh, this one here is, you can see that, it's about uh, a little over 22 inches long. And if I can get a blade that's 21 inches, somewhere around there, a little longer, that'd be just great. Stuff is kind of uh, coarse grain. It almost looks like it's unnappable, but it actually naps okay if you take really special care on the platforms to make sure that your edge angles are not too sharp and that the platforms are really well ground. And the edge thickness is not too thin. Um, we've actually got a pretty good surface over here, nice and smooth, so that'll kind of help out. I suppose the biggest problem I've got on this thing is right in this area here from uh, when we biface this thing out in the field in the sand that you saw a little earlier here. And uh, I don't have a whole lot of width right here. It's fairly thinned down so it shouldn't be a problem. But again, this stuff takes a little extra care on the platforms and you lose a little more width because uh, you've got to have really, really blunt platforms. A, a sharp edge platform just won't cut it and it'll collapse. Just to show you another example here, here's a couple blades here that I made uh, sort of the last few days with some of the basalt that I bought back. This one here is much, much finer grain than that large piece I'm going to be working right now. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of experimenting around just to make sure this thing is capable of uh, napping into a blade. And it is. This piece right here is, is real coarse. It's just like uh, what I'm going to be napping here in the demo. And as you can see, uh, it does have flaws that uh, occasionally uh, crop up in this stuff. And I've uh, got a pretty good one right in here. So you never know in this stuff. These things can uh, just all of a sudden open up and there they are, they surprise you. Unfortunately, it's right toward the end. There's nothing too much.